Hi, my name is Marc Petitjean. I'm coming from Switzerland here in Norway for a couple of days fishing and tying. So what I'm going to show you now, it's three different patterns using CDC. Very simple, you will see, it's easy. Okay, now the mayfly. It's a very important insect to imitate. We will use for that a long hook shank. So I'm tying now a size 12, which is a pretty good uh, size, but at the beginning of the season we have a lot of big insects. So first of all, tie the thread in, like this. For the tail, what I use is the Coq de Leon Pardo. This is a Spanish shackle, very nice. As you see, there is a lot of nice spot. And it imitates the segmentation of the tail of the, the insect. For that, you put the bulb 90 degrees from the stem. And now you can grab a little amount like this that I will use for the tail. Adjust the length, OK. And then we are ready. Go at the beginning of the bend of the hook, come back, and now you can put the tail on that way. Now for the body, I will use a CDC, but I will use the full section of the CDC. So let's take one CDC like this. I will use the full CDC. For that, make a couple of uh, wrap with the thread and pull on the CDC up to the end. Now you make turns and wrap like this up to where you are going to stop the feather. And then you use a very important tool for CDC. This is this ackle plier. That allows you to grab the feather by the large section and twist and wrap to create the body. And as the stem is conical, you will be able to create a nice conical body shape. The as the CDC is conical, you will have a very nice conical body shape without any problem. And we are nearly numb. Now you can stop the feather, few wraps to secure, and then a few wraps to secure the thread on front. Now use your scissors, the straight one, because we are going to clean up the body. For that, trim. And now you use the rotation of your vise to be able to clean up nicely the body shape. Here we go. And as you see here, you, have an, you can even see the segmentation you have created by twisting the feather. Now, the wing. We'll use a couple of uh, nice long blue and CDC. I will use a, a darker one as well. It will make a nice combination. This is the trick with this tool. You can combine the right amount of feather you need, but also the right color you want to combine together. And uh, for iron blued and wings, it's perfect. So it's very easy. Take the feather like this, put the bulb 90 degrees from the stem, repeat the same procedure on the second and on the third feather. And when you have everything, choose the appropriate size clip table and then grab all of them like this, push in, then use the scissors to cut both extremities and then the transparent clip to transfer. As you see here, the stems are nicely lined up, so we will just trim the stem off one way like this. And this is what we are going to use for the, for the wing. Now, flat the thread, use the needle to split the thread, and then you can incorporate the echo substitute. First, spin a little bit like this in your finger, and then take 10 centimeters out of the bobbin holder and spin the bobbin holder. When you've got enough, you forward them like this, rewind in, and we are ready to go. At this point, if I do ackle all what I have here, I will make a very nice polymer. But this is not what I want to do. I want to have the fly floating on the surface of the water. For that, I will use my fingers here and help the fibers to stand up each wrap, like this. 
And now, as you see, I have more material on top than on the bottom. This is good because everything which is under will be trimmed off at the end. So keep on going like this. Now you can push everything backwards to create a nice head with the thread and use your finisher that way. One and a second one to secure. Now, it's impossible to have 100% of the material on top, so you still have to clean up a little bit what is under, like this. And what it is nice to see here, that I have removed partially what was too much here, but as you see, it creates uh, the illusion of the legs, and this is very good because it uh, will also help the fly to be standing flat and straight on the water. Now, the only thing we have to do is to adjust the length. So for that, take all the fibers together, trim, and the shape, just like this. It's easy and quick. I do not like flies which take me more than five minutes uh, to tie. I prefer much better fishing.